okay so a and b so uh, i'll have to write first because now when we have to discuss match the column so it's black gold okay then it's soft coal you should be able to give the answers without writing over there c is kerosene means third one fourth one is paraffin wax fifth is bitumen sixth is carbon dioxide Seventh is hard coal. Eighth one is carbonization. Okay. Now here also A. A is a road surfacing. we should know the answer both the ways b is vaseline c is petroleum d is lignite okay e is fuel for lamps f is global warming g okay g is what coal and h is anthracite okay so this is our match the column a and b so now we will be writing answers over here okay so the first one okay now what is a black gold so without uh, seeing that part only you should be able to know that black gold is what petroleum okay you should be like yeah sometimes it is that we cannot judge the answer because what is there on the next part is difficult to know okay it can be like multiple answers but at least for few things like black gold is very straight what uh, what uh, like to what we say black gold so it's what petroleum now the next one soft one soft coal okay soft coal also we know lignite is the soft coal so again we should write over here lignite okay now kerosene kerosene cannot be used for used for the road surfacing vesely no petroleum lignite fuel for the lamps if you remember uh, now as if you uh, talk about village inside the rural areas so you will find that the lamps are being used and in the these lamps these people use kerosene so the third one is uh fuel for lamps fuel for lamps now come to the fourth one <coughs> paraffin wax we all know paraffin wax we use it so what is that it's uh, it's vaseline okay so it's what vaseline so fourth one is vaseline which so i'm not able to write over here now okay now come to the fifth one bitumen we have discussed bitumen is used for road surfacing okay so fifth one is what road surfacing come to the sixth one Oh, it's written here, na. CO two, straight one. It's what? No doubt, it's global warming. Okay. 
it's global warming. Okay, now only two are left <coughs> hard coal and carbonization. Okay, so just carbonization. Okay, so hard coal. So, what is which uh, anthracite? It is very easy, anthracite is a hard coal. Okay, now the last one is left. So, carbonization, what is carbonization? It is a process through which the wood get converted into the coal, very slow process. Okay, so carbonization, so what will be formed? Coal will be formed. So, just let me write over here coal. Okay, so just have a fast look on this. We are talking about the majority columns black gold, petroleum, okay. Then soft coal, we all know lignite is a soft, uh, it is a soft coal, okay. Kerosene, it is used in the lamps, paraffin wax is used to make Vaseline, bituminous is used for road surfacing, then carbon dioxide, global warming, hard coal is what? Anthracite and carbonization is what? Due to carbonization, coal is formed, okay. So, this was our question number 4th and first match the column okay now we will move to the second match the column now we will discuss the second match the column okay so it's again match the pair okay so now again i'll write over here a B. So, this time I have got solar energy, okay, then petrol, third is natural gas, fourth one is carbon dioxide, okay, fifth is coal tar. Now, if we talk about this, la, this here, this point, so A is pipelines, should come in mind, what flows in the pipelines? B, global warming, C, roads. D is exhaustible, E inexhaustible, okay. So, here this is the, this is matched the pairs. Now, we will just see the answers, what can be the answers, okay. So, here uh, first one, okay. So, it is so easy like solar energy, what it is, is it, is it exhaustible or inexhaustible? So, it is what? Inexhaustible. Inexhaustible means what? We have got unlimited, unlimited supply, okay. So, solar energy is the first one. So, it is what inexhaustible, why it is inexhaustible because we have got uh, like unlimited sources there okay now solar energy is not going to come to an end any day. So, again just now before this also we have discussed what the these kind of energy solar energy, wind energy, tidal waves okay tidal energy, geothermal energy these energies are inexhaustible. So, they can be also known as renewable and uh, non conventional sources of energy okay solar energy so no way it is not going to come to an end so here i should write inexhaustible it is inexhaustible okay now come to the second one petrol so petrol is obviously what exhaustible kind of energy why because we all know that it is going to come to an end and this is a threat which is there in our minds 
okay so this is a second one now we'll talk about third one third one is natural gas so obviously natural gases will be can be supplied in the pipelines okay so i'll write over here pipelines come to the fourth one fourth one is carbon dioxide so just now we did carbon dioxide is what global warming and now the last one fifth one is what coal tar so coal tar is what it is used in the making of roads okay so for coal tar i will write here fifth one and coal tar is used for making roads okay so this was the next matched pair and again i will say the same thing as soon as you see the a column the uh, answers some random answers should be there in your mind okay now we'll proceed to the next question which is question number 5th okay and it is define okay question number 5th is define now the first one is refining okay we are talking about the question number 5th and it is first one is what refining now children what is the meaning of the refining like we have discussed refining is for to remove to separate the constituents of the petroleum isn't it when we talk about petroleum when we talk about crude oil we know so many things are there in that okay so many compounds are there in that so the process okay the process of removing now uh, these components to separate this component is what refining okay so how can we do this obviously it is done by the process of fractional distillation so how can we define it we can define it a process by which the components are components of petroleum can be separated or can be isolated okay a process by which the components of the petroleum or crude oil can be separated or isolated okay due to fractional distillation the compounds which are present in the petroleum get separated okay so how can we define refining a process in which the components of the petroleum or the components of the crude oil can be separated now come to the next one it is carbonization carbonization so we have discussed what's the meaning of carbonization we know that the process okay again i'll tell you the same thing the plants the trees were buried down under the surface of the earth millions of years ago slowly they got covered by the layer of the sand the soil a thick layers were formed they got you know the process of uh, conversion was going on why because the temperature was high the pro the pressure was high and in absence of oxygen all this the wood the, it started getting converted into coal so what is carbonization the slow process of conversion of wood into into what coal is what carbonization so how can we write carbonization okay you have to mention that it is a slow process because it's very slow process so it is a very slow process due to which the 
the plants and trees which got buried millions of years ago millions of years ago millions of years ago got okay got converted into coal okay so what has to be mentioned that it is a very slow process it's a very slow process due to which the plants and the trees which got buried millions of years ago got converted into coal okay so this is what carbonization is it is a slow process due to which the wood got converted into coal okay so now come to the third one third one is okay now third one is petrol okay now what is petrol you all know what is petrol but it has to be defined so how can we define how it is obtained it is the uh, like you know it is obtained like in the very beginning when the fractional distillation process takes place of what of what we are doing like for like the fractional distillation is conducted but uh, about what we are talking about so when the petroleum products when the crude oil undergoes fractional distillation petrol is formed okay petrol comes out and this is what highly it is highly inflammable substance and it is used as a fuel for the vehicles okay so how can we define it what can we write like it is highly inflammable it is produced or it is formed or we it is obtained due to the fractional distillation of crude oil okay so how can we write it is obtained it is obtained due to fractional it is obtained due to fractional distillation okay it is obtained due to fractional distillation of crude oil okay and where it is used and it is used as a fuel as a fuel for for what trucks and buses no those are known as known as uh, those are known as what uh, heavy vehicles okay and so it is used as a fuel for light vehicles okay so how can we define petrol it is obtained due to fractional distillation of crude oil and it is used as a fuel for the light vehicles okay now come to the fourth one the fourth one i'll have to rub the side 